private schools will be allowed to reopen from Tuesday, but they'll have to cap the number of tertiary students on campus at 40% and pre-tertiary students at 50%, and that's to reduce the risk of virus transmission. Skills Future Singapore says the schools will also need to get operational plans approved by the Committee for Private Education. Deborah Wong reports. This includes holding exams online, which PSB Academy will also be doing in June. To keep the number of people on campus down, it's barring access to employees who aren't teaching or student support staff. But the school, which has over 4,000 international students, is bracing for longer-term impact. So what's the situation like with international student applications? Does online learning help in any way? If 50% of the applications are, are, are off at this point in time, most students are saying we are taking our time and we will consider joining the next semester. If 40% of your students are international students, um, with the board closures coming your way, um, you are hit as bad as other sectors. So you can only do so much online. Until the sky is clear, Mr Chang hopes help can be given to private schools. The Committee for Private Education will inform the schools when all students can be allowed on campus.